scary thing about adapting the Hobbit is the fact that there's 13 dwarves is really your, you know, the whole of your cast. And differentiating those characters was important. And, you know, we, we poured through Tolkien's novel, The Hobbit, and with a few exceptions, he doesn't really spend the time to give each dwarf their own particular personality. Some of them do, but, but the majority of them don't. And yet in the movie, uh, you know, given the fact that this was a story that's um, spanning over three films, and each of these dwarves have a role to play in the story, it was very important to us that we were able to give them their own personalities. But, Skulls, this means an old pack is not far behind. Old pack, who did you tell about your quest beyond your kid? No. Who did you tell? No one, I swear. I'm doing this thing, Skull. You are being hunted. We've got an ensemble that just clicked from day one. We were together. It was like a very for a military operation, and we rode together archery, sword fighting, wrestling in the gym together, drinking in the pub together, cooking around at each other's houses, you know, things that also do lots of eating and drinking. We became more like this weird kind of family, we're like sort of brothers in a way that we would. We'd bicker sometimes, we would have a bit of a joking around, you know, we'd hassle somebody, or somebody would say this, and. But it was always done with sort of a certain amount of affection because we just go through this sort of shared journey together. Thank you.